Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video tutorial, I'll be explaining how to get the most realistic ground textures and signs in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. The intention of this video is to help improve immersion at airports, and I'll be showing you some great add-ons which give more realistic details to airport taxiways, taxi lines, runways, parking concourses, and airport aprons. Three of these add-ons are payware and one's freeware. I wasn't sponsored for this video, and I purchased all the products myself. The optional freeware mod enhances the paint lines and colors, but does not make any changes to ground textures, while the three payware software do both. Hopefully this tutorial will help you add more realism to this amazing flight simulator and push the level of immersion that much further. And please remember to like and subscribe if you find this content useful, as it helps other simmers to find this tutorial too. If you're interested in learning how to add more realistic air traffic and liveries, please see my video above. In this video, I'll go through each add-on and I'll explain what it does and how to install it, and later on I'll do some comparisons and share my recommended combinations of add-ons. The first product we're going to look at is the Rex Real Global Textures. This is available from Sim Market, priced at €14.75. So here you can see my in-game footage of the textures. This is an all-inclusive photoreal global airport graphics environment package created from real-world counterparts. It's developed in high definition with full PBR support for stunning visuals and accurate properties. This enhances all airports globally, including most freeware airports and custom airports in all versions of Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's over one gigabyte of extremely detailed textures, replacing the entire default texture library. There's different varieties of asphalt, taxiways, roads, rough asphalt, stripped asphalt, with or without damage, realistic soiled aprons, all types of worn and clean runways and taxiways, and taxiway markings. There's 28 different types of runway surfaces. There are different styles of photo-based tire skid and runway rubber markings and build-up to choose from. And you've got so many different types of effects. The great thing about this add-on, it lets you choose between brand new markings and worn out markings. So it's great because you can get much more realism that way. I use this with the most worn out settings because I find it the most realistic. Also the colors of the lines and the quality of the lines are much more defined. And the surrounding sandstone, sand, concrete gravel, moss and sand, ground soil surfaces are all enhanced. These ground textures work with all types of weather as you can see. So you've got a really quality product here. As you can see, it's got no impact on the FPS whatsoever and the performance is perfect throughout. This really is a great product, guys. It brings so much more detail and depth to the textures in the airports. I just find there's a lot of variety of effects in different areas which just adds so much to the immersion. To install the software, you simply run the installer, confirm the addition, and in step three, you can choose whether the taxiway markings are new or used, and the runway rubber buildup, whether it's heavy or light. Then you click on next and install, and this will then be installed to your community folder, which will run every time you start the sim. The next product we're gonna be looking at is the Zinatech Enhanced Airport Graphics. This is available from Sim Market, priced at €13.99. This add-on contains a library of new airport textures that enhance runways, taxiways, taxiway lines, aprons, ground markings, tyre skid marks, and parking spaces in all default airports worldwide. This package also upgrades most freeware airports. Payware airports will not be affected or modified. Some of the enhancements include more realistic asphalt, concrete, cement, and bitumen runways, realistic runways and surface reflections, enhanced runway skid marks, enhanced airport aprons, runway marks now look more weathered, more realistic taxiways, more realistic taxiway lines, more realistic ground markings, detailed parking spaces, details on the ground such as cracks and imperfections in the concrete, all add to the realism and extra detail you get on the ground with this add-on. This is an alternative to the REC software. They are different and we'll have a look at that later in the video, but again, a very good product and I'm really pleased with the results. I'd say one difference between this and the Rex is that the Rex gives you the option of choosing the new or the worn lines and effects, which I find really useful. This one doesn't give you that option. However, it's really detailed and well done. They definitely use slightly different tones for the colors, but they're so close in quality and price that it's more of a personal preference. And hopefully watching this video will help you decide which one you wanna purchase. In terms of performance, there is no drop in FPS whatsoever. You can see here on screen now, I'm on a solid 45 FPS using the default high-end PC settings in SIM. So that's all positive news in terms of performance and the way things look. To install, you just need to run the installation program that comes with the purchase. Click on next, agree to the terms and conditions. Enter your name and registration, which come with the software.
Make sure you direct it to your community folder. You can see I'm doing that here. Click on Next, and finally click on Start. And this completes the installation process. And the third and last payware product we're going to be looking at today is Real Taxiways USA Class B, C, D and non-towered airports by Black Square. This is available from the Just Flight website, priced at $39.99, which is about 35 euros. This product is significantly more expensive than the other two. However, there's reasons for this. If you've ever struggled while navigating the taxiways of an airport in Microsoft Flight Simulator because online ATC instructions or taxiway diagrams didn't match the signs around your airport, this is the product for you. With real taxiways, you can navigate airports using real-world taxiway diagrams and online ATC while you learn the nuances of airport surface navigation. This software also includes an optional ground texture add-on which adds this to all airports. This is actually a much more in-depth product because it does have the unique signage included. This package only covers the USA, but the textures cover airports worldwide. I'd recommend this product if you're really interested in having accurate signage and more realistic navigational details on the ground. And you can see here that the ground textures are also well done, which I feel brings so much more life to the airports. To install the product, you simply run the installer. And here you can see you get two choices in terms of what you want to install. You've got the main taxiway signage, and here you can also see you've got the optional alternative textures for sign backs and ground markings. You can choose to install that. I've clicked no on this occasion because I've already got it installed. And then just click finish. And this will be installed right into your community folder and will run with the sim. The next product is a freeware mod called Yet Another Ground Marks Fix, available on flightsim.to. This mod focuses on fixing the paint lines from the default program. It is definitely an improvement because the default paint lines are pretty oversaturated and unrealistic. So this does add some realism compared to the default settings. However, it's very minor, but it is free. So it's definitely worth looking at as an option. It covers airports worldwide and it has no impact on the FPS whatsoever. So it's a very good minor fix if that's what you're looking for. To install it, you need to locate the zip folder, open the zip folder and drag the content folder into a community folder, and that will run when the sim next starts up. Now let's spend some time comparing the add-ons by looking at some different visual examples of each one. Here we've got the three payware add-ons, as well as the default Microsoft Flight Simulator image. I didn't include the freeware because that's just based on the lines, whereas we're looking at both the ground textures and the lines. All of this footage was taken in LAX. You can see on the left, the default colors are quite bright and washed out compared to Rex, which is quite faded. Now remember, I've purposely got this set to worn out lines. I just feel it's much more natural. You can choose the brand new lines if you want the more bold and vivid ones, but I prefer to have this. That's why it does look more faint than the other ones. The Zinotex got a different tone, but it's nice quality and it's much more clear, almost like it's new markings. The black square on the right is incredibly vivid and you can obviously see the real signage is there too. For these examples, I've got the textures option turned on for the Black Square product. And here you can see a runway example. On the left, you've got a very faint and almost bleached out image. The Rex, in my opinion, is probably the best on here right now. That's what the strength of the Rex is, is definitely the runways. I find the Zinatech is also really good, but you can look closely. And I mean, you can make your own decision, but I find that the Rex has got slightly more detail especially on the sides of the main skid marks there. And if we look at the black square, it almost looks identical to the default, but it has a slightly different tone, but the markings are in the same places. I would just say it's slightly more contrasting. You'll see on the next image that it is quite different. So I guess it depends on what actual marks we're looking at here. And here you can see the differences again. The Rex is faded compared to the Zinatech, and the black square is very similar to the default again but it does have more slightly vibrant colors. I do love the rich tones of gray the Zinatech has here on the runway. The Rex has the same thing when you have the new settings set, 
And again, however much I do like the saturation of the grey, I find the Rex does look more realistic in terms of a worn out effect, if that's what you're after. And here we can see some more examples of lines and marks on the actual concrete. I do find the Rex the most realistic here, but again, I'm after that worn out look. I do think it's down to personal preference as well. After looking at some really high quality products, I'd like to give you my recommendation of how I use them and why. I personally like the REC settings the most. I think it provides the most realistic ground textures. It's got so many different diverse types of effects. And I love the way you can choose between worn out and brand new markings. The Zinatec add-on is very, very close in quality and some people may prefer it. I think it's really a matter of personal choice and I hope that this video has helped you see and figure out which one you'd like to buy. So what I use in my sim is the Rex textures combined with the real Taxiways USA, but I make sure to turn the textures option off. So I disable the textures option in that program because I feel the Rex is much better than that one. That results in giving me accurate signage within the USA, but also gives me the best option in terms of ground textures worldwide in all airports using the Rex real global airport textures. However, the Zinatec Enhanced Airport Graphics is an excellent option, and I do think it comes down to personal choice at the end of the day. Anyway, guys, I hope this video helped teach you how to add more realism with using realistic ground textures and signs in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I feel with adding these realistic mods adds so much to the sim, and it really brings it alive. As always, guys, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content, and I look forward to making the next video soon. Do remember to check out my realistic sea traffic video in the link above for all things nautical. And let us know in the comments below which mod you prefer and why. Anyway guys, as always, take care and stay safe.